our role as transplant coordinators is really to guide the patient through the transplant process. And that starts with the referral process where their, their primary physician or their gastroenterologist um, or even themselves refer themselves in for transplant. And we guide them through the evaluation so that lots of testing that we have to do to make sure they're healthy enough to go through surgery. And then also what we call people visits. So they have to see the social worker, the dietitian, the pharmacist, the financial coordinator, the cardiologist, the hepatologist or liver doctor, and then our transplant surgeon. We help organize all that testing and we help them navigate their way through the days um, that's usually a three-day process. So we help them navigate their way through the days, get them through that process. The first part of that process is really us as coordinators sitting down with a patient and making sure they understand what transplant is and why they've been referred for transplant and what role transplant plays in their health care. Um, it's one option for them for treating their liver disease. We tell them um, all about the evaluation process, the listing process, the transplant process, and then what's to come for them for the rest of their lives after they get a transplant. Our role as transplant coordinators is, is really instrumental in helping them understand that and going into it with a good understanding um, because transplant isn't for everybody and it's, it's a choice for them. So we help them understand that. Us coordinators get to follow the patient from the minute they're referred um, through the rest of their time after transplant. So it's a great continuum for us because we really get to know the patient and their family. It's so variable because, you know, some people when they start with liver disease don't necessarily need a transplant right away. So they may sit with their liver disease for a, a couple of years before they're at the point of needing a transplant. And some people come in and they're already super sick and need a transplant immediately. The other thing that really impacts how quickly somebody gets a transplant is how they go on the transplant waiting list. And that's with the MEL score, the model for end-stage liver disease. It's a calculation that really tells us how sick you are. We plug lab values into that equation and it gives us a score and first go from six to 40. Six means you don't really need a transplant. 40 means you need a transplant today you're really sick. And the wait list is all about that score. So the higher your score, the higher you are on the list, the sooner you're going to get a transplant. So that's why I say it's so variable because if your score is 15, you're going to wait quite a while for a transplant. But if your score is 35 to 40, we're hoping that you're going to get a transplant within the next couple of weeks.